You gotta be pretty good to have hardware like this. Let's go talk to one of the racers that many consider to be one of the best in the world. We're here with Ty Chessman, uh, winner of the last race down here, down here at Medicine Hat. Ty, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Congratulations on your last win. It was uh, some pretty impressive driving. Um, how'd you do it? Um, just trying to keep my lines, not push too hard. Uh, just trying to get through the traffic as smoothly as I could. Um, I don't know, just tried to make, make it through the 30 minutes. Yeah, it is a very, very long race. How do you find uh, driving in the heat? How do you tune for this kind of weather? Uh, just kind of tune to whatever the ambient temperature is. Uh, just take a quick check before the mains and make sure everything's good. So do you, do you rich in? Do you lean? Um, usually you lean it for hotter weather. And then just, uh, the humidity plays a uh, role into it too. So I noticed it's your dad that's pitting for you, right? Yeah. Any tips on the fast pit times? Because he is fast. Yeah, he's just he's been doing it for a while, so he's got it all down. Um, we work together, so we know what's going to happen, and then he just does his thing. So, Gord, can you give us any tips on how to beat Ty? Um, I don't think it's possible right now. I think I, I think he's the best in the world if he can, if he can keep his nerves. I, right now, I think nobody can beat him, and I think a lot of them know it, so they're worried for the worlds. Ty's always tried to emulate the, the fast guys, which is be smooth, be fast, but keep the car together, which is drive the proper lines, apex corners, keep the car on the ground where you get power to the ground rather than in the air, and don't overdrive. It's very easy to overdrive in an RC car, and Ty makes it look very simple and very smooth. So uh, give us an example of Ty's focus. There was a race a few years ago, I think it was 15 at the time, that there was two drivers, they were not happy with each other, so they actually got into quite a fight behind him, and it was right behind him, and I actually didn't even know anything had happened. Wow. On the driver's stand. On the driver's stand, and I didn't even know anything happened because Ty didn't falter or waver, he just kept driving, and after the race was over, I heard, heard the story. Wow, wow, that's concentration. That's concentration and focus, and I have no idea how he does it because I would have freaked out. So you're running against Ty Tessman. Uh, how did you do, and how do you think? Uh, Four-wheel drive, I out-qualified him. Um, I took TQ in two of the rounds, he took TQ in two of the rounds. I got a second place in the one of the other rounds. Uh, he ended up breaking, so the only reason I out-qualified him is because he broke. Uh, if this was class that he normally runs, um, I, he's way too fast. I don't normally hold on to him like that. Are you learning very much from Ty? Absolutely. You, you try and watch his lap times, try and watch his throttle control, and it can only make you a better driver. So, this is your home track. You must know Ty Tessman pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Has he taught you any tricks? Yeah. Yeah? What kind of stuff? I, he just teaches me part of the track, like the quad. He yeah. tells me where to hit the jump okay. and stuff. So. Does he help you find the, the best line and yeah. stuff like that? So Ty, what are the, some of the biggest wins in your career so far? Um, the Nitro Challenge in Arizona. It was in February, um, and then the Nationals in Pennsylvania, the Royal Nationals, I doubled up on that too. Tell us about your past wins. At the Nitro Challenge, I won 8 scale Buggy Nitro and Truggy Nitro. Uh, the Buggy went pretty well from the start, I led the whole race, and then Truggy, I was battling with Mayfield until he broke his truck and then I just cruised to the win. And then at the Nationals, I had a really good battle with Dakota in 8 scale Nitro Buggy and then I ended up taking the win in that one, and Truggy Nitro. Uh, it was a pretty close race, but then I just kind of stretched out at the end to take the win in that too. So who do you see as an up-and-comer? In... Um, well, with Brady, he just won the uh, light Truggy. Um, he's really good, he's getting a lot better really quick. And then there's Austin Houck too, and uh, Nick Williams too is being really fast lately. How did you get started in this? Uh, my grandma bought me a Radio Shack truck, and then just kind of snowballed from there. Just kept getting more cars, going to more races. What are you driving now? I'm driving the Hot Bodies D8 T and D8, and then the Associated Short Course SC10 4x4. That was a look at Ty Tessman, always out there helping his fellow racer. 
Who knows, maybe the next person that he mentors will be the next champion. But for now, Ty's the one on top. He's the one to beat. We'll see you next time. Ah, looks like the servo horn came off. Anyways, that's it for this week's episode of RCTV. On next week's episode, we're headed to Calgary to see some great 3D flying. And then we're going to be headed out to Chatham also to see some great planes. Don't miss that one. And then it's out to BC to see some on-road street racing. Car! RCTV, your radio-controlled authority, has been brought to you in part by Eliminator RC, your one-stop hobby shop. RC Pit Stop, bringing the best of RC to BC. And John's Hobbies, Toronto's local hobby store.